Hello, Kitty. In the last video, I spoke about direction and contrast, two things that make visual storytelling effective. I see this a lot in old paintings, especially those paintings before modern art. Initially, I didn't know what it was exactly that would get me drawn to staring at those paintings time and time again. It wasn't the style. It wasn't the genre. It wasn't the theme, because they varied in style, genre, and subject matter. But they were all captivating, and made me walk away in contemplation. It had something, something I wanted to learn how to apply in my own works, in comic books and sketches. I also noticed a similar effect in book illustrators whose works capture my attention. I needed to understand the method, but I couldn't find resources that addressed that topic specifically, since I couldn't even put a finger on it. It was all intuitive observations on my part. So I ended up with a tried and tested method of understanding, which is to imitate. To imitate and emulate. In psychology, they say that is the ground of understanding. For me to understand you, I have to imitate you. And so I did just that in my Sunday sketches at permanent third grade. All of these sketches were done in what I call the sketch gym. The sketch gym is a time and place where I work with my hands more than my mind. And after a year or so of these sketches, I was able to find the words to describe the method. Direction and contrast. That is it. Those are the main ingredients in visual storytelling. I could change my style, try a different medium, or pick a new subject matter. As long as I have direction and contrast showing through my sketches, I'm producing an image that will be interesting and reflective. That was what I appreciated about all those paintings and illustrations by other artists. Artists whom I admire. Alright, that's it for now. Have a good weekend. And I'll talk to you soon.